Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nance's part. We're going to be jumping straight back in Attitude Era today on WWE 13, and we're going to be going to the great one today. That's right, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson himself. Let's see how we're going to start this off. The Rock versus Ken Shamrock, okay. Just a regular Raw here. Finally that, let's jump right into it. Looks like it's going to be Rock versus Ken Shamrock there. Shamrock's still smarter than two minutes, so... Yeah, kick some ass, Rock, kick some ass! So we not be included in this video, but... The reason we're having this match is because Rock's headed towards Survivor Series, towards that vacated WWF title. Vacated for the reasons we saw in our last video. Austin refusing to count the pin for either Undertaker or King. Gets fired, gets brought back by Shane McMahon. Leads us into this Survivor Series tournament for the vacant title. Rocky here, his first step to get in that tournament. That WWF title is facing the Intercontinental Champion here, Ken Shamrock. The world's most dangerous. Man. I would say I don't think he's that dangerous. That's a funny quip, but let's be honest, he would kick all of our asses. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? It's probably one of my top favorite entrance scenes of all time just the simplicity of it but the iconicness of it like how famous it is for this era oh love it much like i like his 2000s theme his 2000s theme definitely had a lot more bass hit that punch made him feel like a bigger superstar he evolved with the music as it was and uh now we have him as a global superstar mega movie star dwayne the rock johnson people's champion Thank you. I know. This model is okay. Not the greatest rock model ever. I think there's just something with his hairline and his hair that just didn't get right. It just feels off with his eyes. Like, I don't know. It just looks very... I don't know. Something, something about it I don't like. Especially when WrestleMania 2000, he looked so damn good. Especially, you know, the Mercy looked decent as well. Like, to not have, like, certain aspects of a face look right, it's just weird. I love his song. It's so good. If you ever listen to WF the Music Volume 4, his track long enough, he will talk about shoving the CD straight up your poo hole. Rock's gonna take your little CD, dust it off, turn it sideways, and stick straight up your cane ass. Fun fact. Well, that's not fair. This is a must-win situation yeah. for the Rock. Kick Kenny Shamrock's ass He's here. He's got to beat Shamrock for the title. And you know the only way a title changes hands is by pinfall or submission. I keep accidentally taunting because I've been playing injustice. <laughs> screwing up the controls here. Into the deadly game tournament at Survivor Series is on the line Ugh. here tonight. Well, I was about to say earlier that The Rock being the number one contender would have earned him a first-round buy at the Survivor Series tournament. Now, he might not even be in it. Well, The Rock's popularity may have just cost it as far as the evil Mr. McMahon's concerned. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. And there's a counter by the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. I would feel like there's a delay in my controller, but goodness gracious. Slam. I love it. I always like to let the spoken scripted parts by Jim Ross and King track. play out in these gameplays. So the ring, expect no me to be quiet during match. the beginning of matches if you hear it. Just because we love Jim Ross and King. It pairs. Oh, amazing. Mauro Ronaldo is probably my favorite modern commentator. Ricochet lands on his feet! Mamma mia! Oh, ran up the steps. It's not a dainty way to get in the ring, Mr. Dwayne. As we spine Spinebuster and Ken, and he reversed us because it was too early in the match. He said, fuck you, Rock. Know your pacing. I say, <laughs> well, there's a Spinebuster for your ignorance, Shamrock. And for your mouth, we will deliver you a people's elbow. As he hits the ropes, back off that other side, comes right to him, and then, ooh, ooh elbow to his sternum. Not clash too by bonus objectives. But what do I do now? I'm assuming there might be some interference coming here. All the objectives went away. I don't... Am I just supposed to pin him now? The ring. This could get interesting. 
What? What is he doing? Where are you going? Get back. The match isn't over. Is he just going to get a chair? Get up. What the hell? This must be scripted. This has to be. Referee calling for the bell. I'm and confused. So, you are okay, it's part of it. Cool. You Got it. it. I was lost for a moment there. Should we talk about the scripted moments? Oh, no. A disqualification does the rock no good. He didn't win the title. The Rock's not going to make it to Survivor Series. Ask folks what we call clever riding there. It protects Rock and gets him where he's going. So now we have Mark Henry on our sights. Uh, so he's getting popular with the match. I don't know, these two are always feuding. It's one of those things where ever since we were in the nation, cue the music, these two are just always bouncing off each other up and down the ladder on the roster. My Mr. Mark Henry deserves all your respect, not to mention all his physical accomplishments. Mr. Sexual Chocolate here. All the stuff to do with Mae Young, you gotta respect this guy. He paid his dues. Well, folks, we're glad that you could be with us tonight. And for those of you that didn't catch it, last night on Heat, the bombshell was laid down by Mr. McMahon. If The Rock can defeat the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, he gets back into the Deadly Games Tournament. Yeah, but if he loses, he's not only out of the tournament, he's out of a job. And then, I'm going to wonder what the people are going to do when he's out of work. Well, we all know one man who will be happy if that happens. And he's sitting out here at ringside to watch this match. I always like the, the theme to Deadly Games. Because it's a Deadly Game. Players live our lives. WWE always good with their themes throughout the late 90s. Some of their pay-per-view themes and in-house work was top-notch. Good job, Jim Johnston and whoever he contacted to help him. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Again, I did not know this. He wore this tracksuit to hide surgical scars. That he had to reduce his pectoral muscles. Never knew that till later in life. So if you did not know that, now you know as well. Not that I'm picking on, but never knew he wore this to hide some surgery stiff. God, this thing just slams just in a different way. Just hits that era. <laughs> If you don't hum this general theme whenever you're victorious in something in life and you're a wrestling fan, you are lying. And I'm calling you on it. Right here, right now. You do too. If you grew up with The Rock, you hum a little bit of his song every time you feel happy and you kind of sniff the air and you kind of... Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You do. Admit it. Especially if you're more track pants like that. Then it's like a legal obligation, is it not? It's all on the line. Rock's job, not to mention his place back in the Deadly Game Tournament. And The Rock's going to try to make it short work of the world's strongest man, the 400-pound Mark Henry. Well, I think in The Rock's condition, that's the only chance he's got. I mean, he's been busted in the back of his head. If he doesn't get this over fast, he won't last. Mention the first episode or two of this that uh, Charles Robinson the referee in this game I, I wish they had chosen a more generic model because if I'm not correct he was more known for WCW at the time so we can't get an Earl Hebner Tim White Jack Dome Jimmy Corderas in here because of legal reasons just put some generic ref in here Oh, has an atomic drop. That has to be a heavy atomic drop brought to hit. Rock bottom on Henry. I haven't even looked at it. People don't. So I just got to highlight as the rock, basically, is what I got to do here. So we're going to go for that people's elbow again. Shimmy's elbow pad off. Shoots off in the ropes. Not much clearance on the other side of Mark, but who get done? He's the people's champ. Oh, he just. Boop, there it is. That's one done. Just bury his head over right into the chest. 
Hatch to Mark Henry. I need some R&R &R with Mae Young after this. Even though it didn't happen for another couple of years. What are we going to do? Are we going to punch him? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ah! Uh, not bilingual, but I did take two years of Spanish. So I, I, I could get along in a Spanish-speaking country for about a day or two. Uh, agua, comida. All right. Why do they always got to break the table? You're not going to put me through that, so stop acting like you're gonna. I'm sure JR and the King do not appreciate you messing with their drinks and their monitors. Those things were not cheap in the 90s. Probably cost a good fortune every time they have to replace a damn table. I would love to know if on commentary in Spanish, if there's a running joke about how many times the table gets broken. Obviously, I never watched it in Spanish, so I wouldn't know. But I'm assuming after all the years of all the times they specifically, you know, got destroyed. I would imagine there's some type of running joke about, oh, not again. Hi, Dios mio. Uh, you're going to go down to the bottom, the rock bottom, Mr. Henry. I had to win it four minutes. Wasn't even paying attention to that. Probably going to do it anyway because I'm the man. Here we go. Ooh, yep. Effortless. I don't know that dash really boss man. Oh, he's going to give Vince the business. It's like, I heard what you're going to do in 2022. 2023, get fucked. And will he truly be fucked? That was just uncalled for. Up goes that eyebrow. Vince, fucked you shall be in the rock bottom. Oh, there you go. Spine tastes that canvas. No, no, it's not over for Vinny Mac. He's going to get truly what he deserves. Oh, my goodness. Taste the point of a rocket's elbow right there. Ugh. Now we're on to Survivor Series. It's Rock versus Big Boss Man. He's going to get his comeuppance here. Win the match, win the match, one minute. Light, less damage. Oh, I can manage that. Assuming it's going to be kind of like a gaunt here. Rocky have to go through the paces. Survivor Series. On his march towards that WWF title. Welcome everyone to the 12th annual Survivor Series. And it will be a deadly game here tonight. Over 20,000 fans have sold out this magnificent facility in St. Louis, Missouri in anticipation for seeing a new WWE Champion crown. On oh, without a doubt, it's gonna happen tonight. Mr. McMahon has guaranteed it. Guaranteed it. Those who know when the rock guaranteed something once upon a time, he did deliver. I believe it was Backlash to WrestleMania 2000. The Rock said he guaranteed he'd win that WWF title. Oh, wait, what's the king of the ring? I don't know. Some point in 2000, Rock said it, it happened. Come Backlash, the rock guarantees. So when it said around the rock, you have to wonder, well, what Vince said indeed happened. Is he going to do the twirl? Do the twirl. But he always twirled it and then he did the salute. So he might not. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. McMahon himself did the pairing for this single elimination tournament. It will only be winners advancing. And again, it has been guaranteed that a new champion will be crowned here tonight at the Survivor Series. Why? Now that I think of it, it's the Deadly Games. It's not Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I want to know. 
Oh, he did the twirl. He did the twirl. Yes, thank you, boss man. Scratch that itch. Oh, my thirst is quenched for your awesomeness. I appreciate it. He's got all the buttons on his shirt, which means we're just beginning the match. Here we go in this first round matchup between The Rock and Mr. McMahon. This last minute replacement to face The Rock was personally chosen by Mr. I gotta McMahon. win it in one minute. Hopefully, shit. That's right. Mr. McMahon right. cares so much. Give me a fucking finish. Jesus Christ. Up. Over there. Nope. Oh, God. Count it. Oh, fucking son of a bitch. That's what's gonna get me right there. All right, come on. Suplex him. Hurt him. I don't fucking care. Just get him away from the fucking ropes, you dingbat. Son of a bitch. I swear to God. I swear to God. Just count him. Count him. You don't have time for a rock bottom. Oh my god. It's gonna be down in the water, son of a bitch, motherfucker. Oh my god. Count him. Count him. God damn it, no. God, count it. Count it. <laughs> Four seconds. Woo. Oh yeah. Can you smell what the rock has cooked up for the big boss man? How do you like that, Mr. McMahon? You know that's not fair. Bossman wasn't even ready. Hey, Mr. McMahon, The Rock told me to tell you that he just beat your henchman in about a minute. Oh, uh, Mr. McMahon's not going to be very happy about this. To be honest, I wasn't sure I was going to get that one. Whew, first try. Give myself a pat on the back in his apartment doing a fine here. As we watch The Rock go forward in the Deadly Games Tournament for the WWF title. Now we're gonna go against Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock again. He's back. We're gonna fight him. Uh, succeed at the moment. People's elbows. Eight minutes. Oh, we got plenty of time to do this one. We can rest up easy this time around. It ain't gonna be hard. Came in watching the wrestling just after Shamrock, and I have a feeling I would have loved watching him. Also, dream match. Probably happened in some company somewhere. If not, I just I wanna. You know, a universe where we had like a WrestleMania Ken Shamrock Kurt Angle match. That would have excited me. This is going to be a classic match between these men that have a long history with each other. I'll tell you what, these are two young men that the foundation of WWE will be built upon. Mentioned titles in the last video with Kane. I believe this title, the Intercontinental title, was purple at the time. Well, I know it was at one point, but I, I believe it still was at this point. The scratch one didn't come in until after China. I want to say China was the last one to hold the block logo. Correct me if I'm wrong. Could have been Jeff Jarrett. I'm not sure. I'm 99% sure it's China, though. That oval I see, uh, the violet one that Rock introduced, probably arguably one of my favorite title designs ever. I don't know why. I like violet, as you can tell by my channel. Just love the block logo on that violet. Oh, it just looks so good. I don't know. I just like that combination. For some reason, it's, it was it tickled my fancy. It tickled my fancy is what it did. It's a rock now. Not even breaking a sweat in that first match. It's a coming full circle story-wise with Ken Shamrock, but we're not even close to being done. Either way, we still have to lay the smack down on Ken Shamrock's Rudy Poo candy ass, and I will deliver on that promise, I tell you what. God, that music is slapping. Both men want to win this match as soon as possible. They'll need to save their energy to defeat The Undertaker in the semifinals. Well, I'll tell you this. If you're The Rock, even though you're on the offensive, you always have to be thinking defensively. You do not want to let yourself get caught in that ankle lock submission hold, and that move can come from anywhere at any time. Also, has it ever been discussed on how similar Kurt Angle and Ken Shamrock was? The eeriness being also in the K's of their name, like, good lord, um, like, that's eerie, but, you know, was it because, you know, that particular style suplexes and, like, those particular holds are easier to someone who, you know, has a grappling background and it was just easier to teach them that in the ring, you know, transitions and stuff like that, or is it just, you know, the universe wanted someone with that style to be WWE Champion one day and someone had to have it and a K name and... 
Kurt Angle came along here. That's how, that's how it goes. Andy strikes with a quick kick. Oh, what a bow. Right hand. And in two. I like how it's always added to their moment, but most of them end up being ref bumps. I swear to God, if this one's a ref bump. Tale of the story today is going to be fucking rope breaks, I tell you. And that attack. It's just been. Most of my matches have been no disqualification. What a counter by as we've previously noted. Ooh, yeah. Kenny now just no selling the shit. Go right off the ropes then. Get better momentum. That's how you tell a story, Kenny. And taunting's how you get your ass kicked, Paul. Stop talking smack. You got six minutes left to get a rock bottom. Oh people's gosh. elbow in on top of the attitude error moment, but I, I, I believe the oh, clock will probably stop right for that. I would imagine. And they got a win, obviously, which I haven't had a problem. It's too much in this and gameplay series. Shy of, I think, one pin, but because the, the kicking out Shit, system count. sucks. Especially if you have astigmatism and are playing on a slight delay, oh, I would imagine, at least a couple milliseconds. God, why does he have to go <gasps> every time? The rock just Should edit into a Wii or something like that every time. His way. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that soup's going to be on his diet for the God, I just want to work up a sick wow, Kenny a boy. He just turned him inside out. I always feel like wrestlers with slow. Oh, thank God, Kenny. I'm going to reverse you right into a goddamn spine. But there we go. Thank you. Well, folks, it looks like Rock's about to take off here. He's taking off that elbow pad, and he's cleared for takeoff. He's going to go off that north side and off the south side on the other one and then come right back to it. Just drops it right on the Kenny Shamrock. Probably, as is typical of Ken Shamrock bleeding from the mouth, I would imagine. How do you like that inside cradle? Oh, really? Right as I nailed it, and I jinxed myself. Okay. All right, so we just dropped an elbow on Kenny Shamrock. <laughs> that sucked. Uh, I hate the pitting system on this. It's just like, uh It's just, again, especially when you have timing issues and shit like that. Oh, God, it sucks. All the moment. Uh, just got to work up to another finisher, which, given the way this rematch has gone, it's not going to go for me because, oh good God. God, he's been reversing everything, and I have been reversing Kenny nothing. Spend it all that reversal luck. My no previous way. videos... All right, yeah, drop him. Oh, goodness. Taunt up a little bit. Oh, come on. So always got to do that fucking slow one that gets interrupted. Is this the attitude error moment? What's going on? Ah! I'm assuming so. What's boss man doing here? Oh, what a match, JR. I can't believe it. Hey! Right, got it. Oh, me boom! Oh! Got the attitude error moment. Oh God! Kicked out. Thank God, I got that one. Get off that rope! That more momentum, I tell you, man. That's 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 the way this match is gonna go. Signature. Oh, oh but we're gonna rock bottom his ass. He's been giving me so much damn trouble. Get up here, you son of a bitch! Rock got him up. Rock got him down. Boom! It's over. Count it. No, come on, boss man! It's gonna cost me at that son of a bitch. There, we'll try that one. God damn it. Boss man, you son of a bitch, you're gonna cost me this. Nobody home for that one. Did you see that? Count it. This could be it. This could be it. Thank you. Good lordy. The great one does it. And the rock, despite the interference, will advance. And McMahon has to be livid. It looks as if McMahon assigned the boss man to take out the rock to make sure the rock did not advance. I'll tell you this, big boss man can say goodbye to his rear end because he won't have one after Mr. McMahon gets through chewing it. The boss man was tossing the nightstick apparently to Shamrock, but the rock got in the way of the pass. So now the rock moves on. So now it'll be the Undertaker versus the rock in the semifinals of Survivor Series. Looks like the only thing we're going to have to do here is win the match before on the people's elbow. That's, that's nice. Not complicated. I like it. Simple.
Oh, we're on a new music for the Undertaker now. Oh, oh, oh. this one, this one, this one pops too. They all pop. The Attitude Era is just decent. He's watching Judgment Day 1998 earlier and just. There's something about his entrances in 1998 or something else. Well, apparently, Mr. McMahon and all his associates, or sycophants, if you will, are now somewhere on I-70. Yeah, but Stone Cold is chasing them. They're probably heading to the airport with Austin hot on their heels. Yeah, well, somebody better call the cops, because I guarantee Austin is speeding. Well, either way, the tournament is still ongoing. And we'll find out next if it will be Undertaker or the rock that will face mankind in the finals. Oh, just thought music. Again. If you grew up with this generation in Arab music, oh, you had it good. Ugh. Not light on the guitar, exactly what it needs to be. So the Undertaker makes his way to the ring here. Shirley must be thinking he's on his way to the finals in a WF championship victory. This young upstart, The Rock, shouldn't be that much trouble. The Rock, now what must he be thinking? I feel like he shouldn't have both elbow pads, but whatever. It's interesting. Continuity, folks. Anyway, The Rock, he must be thinking, what must I do? What must I do? To finally get to the finals and become WWE Champion. All that he's had to go through thus far, all the bullfuckery. What could possibly go down with here, The Undertaker? God only knows, as Jim Ross would say. Oh, it looks like Undertaker is dancing to it. Just match the beat. The Rock. And the Undertaker. Who beat you to it, buddy? One of these two men will meet mankind in the finals of the Deadly Game Tournament to determine a new champion. Well, I think that Mr. McMahon could probably deal one way or the other with the Undertaker if he were a champion. I think he probably feels like he could negotiate with him. Yeah, because McMahon has a lot in common with Paul Bear. Same kind of ethics. Now he knows he can deal with mankind as the champion. Well, that's obvious, King. Now he's just counting that the Undertaker should be able to put the rock away. Mankind's been relegated to no more than village idiot here from the manipulations of Mr. McMahon. And you can't blame Mick Foley for it. A nice reversal by Again, the Undertaker. Again, I want to know very, very what makes it deadly. Here. What's he going to do? And he blocked it. Does someone hit you out of nowhere in the back with Janice? Rock's in trouble. Or do they push you in front of something? Whatever the fuck happened to Mickey James and Impact? Slam. I stopped watching around Aces and Eights, so I uh, wasn't quite sure. Also, mention in the comments if you'd like me to play TNA, that game. I already played it once upon a time, but be willing to do it if people ask. Just saying. That game had some damn good animation because it was all mocap, so it was one of the best looking wrestling games ever. Can wrestling games just look better if they're mocap? I swear to God they do. That's why I will always, you know, go back to WF Attitude and Warzone before long just to play a couple matches because it looks, it looks so damn good. Ah, here comes the bullfuckery. I, I knew it was going to happen. Son of a bitch. I mean, it's got to be party time. Oh, yeah. I'm 
serious, very shabow, shabow. <laughs> nope, 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 too many shabows. You would not whip that out. Fuck you. Someone find me a clip of that if it's ever happened. He's so tall. I don't know, like, if that, even that would be feasible. Like, good, God bless him. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think... Oh, you can lift him. I didn't know that was a feature on this game. You know, with his legs trying to get around, that'd be almost impossible. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, nice <laughs> that defies physics. Fuck you. Would you listen to this crowd show their appreciation for these amazing Oh, these two just putting on a clinic. Future Hall of Famers for sure. Oh, too fast to get caught in that. Undertaker is rock, isn't is he? I don't believe he is. Future one for sure, obviously, if he is not. Just memory. Memory. Fights me at times. Oh, people's elbow. So here we go. Shebang. Oh, how you like that? Taste them apples. Ooh, he's going for it. Oh no, he's getting the goose away. But here's Kane to do more bullfuckery. Ooh, he gets him up, and he goes down. He goes. Oh, so he wins me a DQ. He moves forward. Got it. Good storytelling. Good storytelling. Oh, oh, maybe they're not back together again. Kane just eliminated his brother, the Undertaker, from this tournament. Oh, I don't think Mr. McMahon's going to be happy about it. Someone that. needs to start a channel and put Andy and Ollie from Bob's Burgers on the Kane and Undertaker moments. Just credit me with the idea. And do it yourself because that would be fucking hilarious. Ow, 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 ow. I got a fun cushion. The Rockers Mankind, Pinfall Submission, Strike Mankind with a chair. <laughs> At least six times. Oh, yeah, that can be done. That can be done. The people's elbow rock bottom get Mankind's damage under, uh, to moderate and perform the structure. Can do. I can't show the video packages they include on this, but <laughs> the, guy, the way the guy said the rock at the end of it was so nice. The rock. With that, like, scratch in his voice. It's so awesome. The Rock and Mankind seems destined to dance within the squared circle together, either as teammates, friends, or foes. As we see McFoley here, now getting ever closer to that WWF title. He can nearly taste that leather in his broken teeth. Do you smell what the Rock is cooking? As now this generational superstar, this miraculous young man makes his way to the ring. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. To challenge for his first WWF title. You can tell no greater a story than two young men from two very different places. Scratching and clawing towards that tip of the ladder. Tippy tippy top. So they too can have that gold that so many others have claimed for themselves and elevate themselves ever further. Love that graphic, especially with the yellow and the skull in the background. Oh, pop so well. This is when we get the first scratch big gold for those belt nerds out there. We'll have a belt video or two up at some point. I, just, I have a couple ideas I want to do for it. So I'm going to wait and give you something good. Well, here we are. I don't think The Rock is aware that Mr. McMahon is back here. And of course, mankind probably wouldn't be aware if he knew. Huh? Poor old Mick. Bless his deranged heart. You have to wonder sometimes if he even knows what's going on. Of course he knows. With Mr. McMahon back, he's now moments away from becoming the next champion. Wow, 
wanted to let them get their good intro in. So and Brock. Finally get into it, this epic matchup. Before I go ape shit on Mick with a chair, I just want to make sure, um... It is no DQ. Okay, there is no DQ. So you know the rules, folks. WrestleMania 17, that son of a bitch. Yes, we shall. This is one of the more appropriate ones because it is The Rock doing it. And he was the one getting the job done to him. WrestleMania X7, as we all know. Make it just going for my skull. Jesus Christ, I can't reverse shit this match, I tell you. It's so quiet, so now I just feel like I'm getting even more. Good lord. Crowd, I want to go outside, get sure he knows what's coming. He can taste it. His hardcore senses are, are a buzzing. They know. They're like, damage is a coming, Mick. I wonder if I keep the damage from other matches because because I, I'm walking like I'm a bit perturbed. Take that to the face, Mick. Jesus. Keep it hitting. Get making. Keep it hitting. I love you, buddy. I'm sorry. But I gotta do it for the challenge. Which I believe just got checked off. But okay. And then we got uh, people's elbow rock bottom. Moderate and sharp shirt. Okie dokie. Got it. I'm not supposed to get back in the ring. No need to jinx myself by being cocky. My damage is quite ridiculous. Boom. Drops him on his face. Oh, no, that chair's definitely busted. <laughs> I was like, I could still use it. No, you cannot. It is in pieces. Just do something to him. God damn. Dust, duck and ice picks, bare knuckle fits, bare knuckle fight pits, beat you lifeless, never surviving. You forgot like old timers, two faced rappers walk away with old. With some, I don't, I can't remember the lyrics. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> uh. You have to wonder sometimes if he even knows what's going on. Of course he knows. With Mr. McMahon back, he's now moments away from becoming the next champion. Look out, he's found a chair. Oh my God, what a chair shot. Driving that chair into him again. I didn't want to commentate on this rematch, but Mick just ate shit. No. I like how Mick in the video games is kind of jacked stats because... He took it for Barack for so many years. He deserves to to get his in virtual form. No way did he just get out of that. Also, I'll be definitely playing WWE 2K14. Went through the match listing of that. I've owned that ever since it came out, and I just oh, I want to go back through that. Fuck, it's amazing. If you're a wrestling fan, stay tuned. I will be, be providing commentary on all that shit as well. Oh, Aunt Nana's apartment. Try not to ask you to follow too much. Uh, that's annoying as fuck, so. If I think of it, I'll say it every once in a while. But other than that, try not to annoy you. Appreciate you that do follow me and follow my content. I do this for very personal reasons, and uh, it's very supportive. Thank you very much. Enough of the tacky shit. Back to the rest. Fucking Mick Foley, as we know. Reversal God here on Nana's apartment. Fuck. Watch. My Austin episode, if you don't know what I'm talking about, god damn. Again, his stats are kind of <laughs> silly good. Did I not hit it at least six times? God damn, I gotta go back to doing that apparently. Get a finisher on your ass. As he's stretching my leg out again. I feel like this would just make you feel good after a, like a five, ten minute match. Good lord. He's stretching me out after a couple matches, man. I feel appreciative of it. That's a question. So if you're in an Iron Man match, would you kind of work it so you, you get yourself in a hold where, like, you can kind of massage the guy you're working with a little bit just because at some point you might be really, really sore or something like that? If it's a rest hold situation or, like, a slow submission burn, have a submission that it's just, like, 
you can trade off soothing one another for like 15 of that that hour. How much punishment do you have to do in this match? Something like that. Well, not 15. I don't know. An agreeable amount of time to give each other a rest, and maybe if one of you is nursing an injury, give that limb a break. Pun oh, it was a pun. That was a good pun, Paul. Did you hear the impact from that? They always happen when you don't mean to. Because you'd break your leg if you didn't. Uh, you get it. Ugh, nice standing vertical suplex. God damn, what am I going to do to earn a finisher? For fuck's sake. I got to do both finishers, too. This is going to take forever. I did look up this match earlier, and someone did say, like, what are you going to do to beat Mankind? And now I know why. Jesus Christ. If I do this... I swear to God, we're going to have a celebration. Some type of cool gift party at the end. <laughs> Load the screens with celebratory gifts. Got him. Yeah, fucking... Maybe, like, if, if it's not false count anywhere, I can just get to the outside and do shit. I could do a rock bottom there and just work him to a finisher. Ah. Uh, if I get beat here, if you see a hard cut, that's what's going to happen. But I'm not sure. But just for safety's sake, if I can lose either way in any space, let's go to the outside. Work up some taunts because I can't get counted out, so there's no count outs. So it doesn't hurt to be outside. I could only work over Nick Moore. Let's science this shit, folks. Let's give ourselves uh, the best opportunity. It's probability, folks. That's math. That's good shit. That's how the universe works. Yeah. As does this reversal system, Mick. He goes, ha-ha, oh, I know, Rocky boy. Yeah, I got cocky. Yeah, he wants me in the ring, so you must be able to... Oh, I'm going to do that. That's, see it again, folks? You got to think. Think with your noggins. That's why you got him. Get the fuck up, Rock. Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Boom. Good. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Yeah, fuck you, Mick. I know how to do this. Really use your noggin, kids. This is how we do it. Don't taunt like that, Paul. If it's false cut anywhere, you're... Oh, Mick. You're in a oh, bad way. Yes. Get up. Get up. Mine. Boom. We're getting the people's elbow. We're doing all this. Yep. We're winning this. We are winning this. We're getting another signature. I'm going to take your ass in the ring. And people's elbow you. I don't know how to do the sharpshooter, though. That's, that's the tricky bit. Might have a pause edit here at some point so I can figure out how to do that and not fuck it up. So I'd hate to have to redo any of this. Ugh. I don't think I have to unlock everything, but... I like doing all the objectives for your votes. Your votes. Bless your video game mix. Like, God fucking damn it. Yeah, that's right. Make get right back out, you bitch. I like how Ross is commentating on the fact that it's like the humans not taking it. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm getting the fuck back up, Mick. I'm going to get back up. Come on, get up. Get up. I'm furious. Thank you. Get up. <laughs> fuck you, Mick. I love you in real life, but I'm not going down like that. What do you want to do? Huh? How do you want to do this? Let's go. Let's dance. Let's dance, my friend. And they're going to reverse it. Nope. Netbreaker. Oh, come on. Come on. I want to insult him and say bad things, but I really do love Nick Foley. <laughs> it's just I feel mean. But just like the sheer, the sheer force that this computer is going through. He's like, no, get back in the ring, you fuck. I'm like, no. But, like here. it's impossible that like I don't know what sliders they changed, but to to get a signature or finisher right now is so ridiculously hard. So it's definitely it's Easily the difficulties up for this match, which I appreciate. This is kind of a war. Another I like it. Big elbow in the 
knuckles connect. Wow. Textbook God goal. damn. And this is all but over. I was going to say, I might lose by submission, though. That, that could be a thing. He's, he's mathing it, too, folks. He knows what to do. I don't even know how you can get out of that. Oh, mankind felt that. Am I even going to be what able to earn a signature? Is that what the fuck is going on? No way. That had to hurt people. I don't well, he care. It's just all he wants that. to do is, yeah. And I'm like, no, I, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, boom! I'm assuming I might not be able to get one now. Nope, I can. Now we can go to the ring. Now we can go to the ring. I want to go to the ring. Yes. There we go. Don't make me run. Is that really gonna make me run all the way? Are you okay? Thank you. Now get in there, Rocky. Oh, this is perfect, Paul. If you fuck this up, the whole world will laugh at you. <laughs> Laugh at you and laugh at you. I will be okay if I get to the people's elbow and then I fuck up the signature, the whatever. Hey, Thank you, God. Give me. To even be able to really, am I not going to get this because his head's too close to the goddamn ropes? <laughs> fuck. Goddamn son of... I... Oh. <sighs> My heart was beating fast there. I'm not going to lie. Thank you, God. Now, how the hell do you do the, the sharpshooter? I'm assuming it's just like grafted onto his move list for this match. I swear to God, if it's another finisher, I'm going to cry. <laughs> we may not get this, folks. If Nope, nope, get out, Rock, get out, get out. Are you shitting me? Oh. Get out, get out, Rock, come on, get the fuck out. The fact that he's taunting me, too. This is... It's a submission. It's a submission, though. It's a submission. I can break out of a submission. I can break out of a submission, can I? Oh, God. Be a rope break. Be a rope break. He's going for the pin. Oh! oh! Miracles. Miracles happen. Anything is possible. No, that's not. No, it has to be like his finisher or whatever. That's what it is. That has to be what it is. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay, so you do have. It is his finisher, so we basically have to do the same fucking thing again. Oh, this is merciless. Oh, good God, is it merciless? My <laughs> God, folks, if I don't get this, please, please don't be mad at me. Good Lord, this is so ridiculous. He's already got a signature. Why does he get it so quick? This is impossible. I'm dead. There's no way. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. Go away. Go away. Get up. 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 Thank God. Okay. Get the fuck out. He's just going to be waiting there, but I don't care. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Jesus Christ. I should be WrestleMania 17 in this, but I can't. There's no way. It's his only fucking taunt. It's so slow. Okay. I knew he was going to reverse. There's, can't help that. Can't help that. Boom. Grapple him while he's on the ground, Paul. Grapple him. What doesn't what what sucks is that like he definitely has like higher stats as far as reversals go, so it's like the damage works the same, yes, but like the reversals don't. So it's like oh, it just sucks. It sucks so bad. What a fierce kick. Another shot with the boot. Oh my gosh. Good. DDT, that always helped. Oh dropped him. Come on. So yeah, yeah. Get him in there. Spine buster, sharpshooter, the chicken dinner. Pray, folks. Whenever, whatever your denomination or whatever, just pray. Retroactively through the cosmos, entanglement man, just help me out here. Good God, get up, 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 get up. Get up whenever I want to go. I'm off to get away now. Because I want a signature first. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Okay, heartbeat time, heartbeat time. Vince, you prick, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh my god, okay. Center of the ring, Paul. 
center of the ring. This doesn't matter if I, because I don't need his head this time. I just need his feet. Get over here. Thank God. Why can't I get his feet? Why the fuck? Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. I'll try this one more time. What's he gonna find? Pulls line. I can smell what he's smelling. The rock and rock bottom hits. I don't know how to do my fucking. What the fuck? With the chair. Relentless with that steel chair. Oh, so just WrestleMania 17, it, I guess. Swift kick. Maybe it's his signature. We'll try that. We'll try that. Jesus Christ. Good Lord. Take the stomp, Three. Jesus Christ. That's how I feel. Good lord. I hate the date, like the days thing. The days thing pisses me off because it's like it screws me completely. Blocks the oh, thank God. Nice. That elbow did some damage. Yeah, okay. Let's get let's get him in the ring. They re enter the ring now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, computer. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Look where he's going again. Take another weapon. Nicely avoided there. Gets out of the way of that attack. Good God. Alright. Pray it's his fucking signature. Thank God. Oh, Mr. McMahon's sweating bullets over there. Oh, man. Sharpshooter. There's a sharpshooter, and McMahon says to ring the bell. <sighs> and that, folks, is my greatest accomplishment on this channel thus far. Good Lord. Rock. It's Pearl Harbor and Mick Foley. The world wrestling champion. The corporate champion. Ladies and gentlemen. The rock. Didn't he say I give you the rock? That's weird. Oh, that may have been my greatest accomplishment, ladies and gentlemen, on this channel thus far. Here I give you all the objectives done. Mick Foley. Holy shit, I read about it. And I was afraid. But we got it done. Thank you for joining me for that. Good Lord. What we got next? So next it looks like we'll be facing mankind again. Good Lord. I don't know if we will do that again. Oh, let's try it. Let's go for it. Let's make this video epic. It's mankind versus the rock. Rock bottom. 
Wish I was brave enough to put the video packages up here, but I, I'm not. Uh, but look it up on YouTube. Oh, it's so damn good this fucking match. All right, so we just gotta win the match and uh, perform the mandible claw on the rock. Oh my goodness, mankind this rock. Are we gonna win the match, mankind? What the heck's going on here? It's one of the things where I've played this. I've definitely watched this. I can't remember what goes down during this match. It's been too long. The mind only has so much space. And it's filled with plenty of other good Mick Foley rock moments. Also, I love this version of his theme with the, 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 the kick with the snare. Oh. Just gave him what he needed right about now. And it's... Oh, it's, dark and dim but kind of like upbeat at the same time so you can get behind it it's kind of like kind of raises that emotion in you oh so good you wreck is also perfect so now we see the wf champion i hate it in this game that he wears around his waist because oh, like he always usually held it it's like uh, why didn't you just do that I could be completely wrong. He might wear it in his waist to this match. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. Stuff like that always bug me in the games. I always want championships when I can play for them. I always want to see them on the entrances, but I know certain things were impossible in certain games. I like playing for something, you know, as people always are fighting for something, about something to play for, about something at stake. There's no value in anything. Gotta, gotta have a value, a stake. And what's at stake here might be the WWF Championship. Not sure. Again, I like Rock's music because it looks like everyone's always dancing to it. for the title. Oh my goodness, Mick Foley here having an opportunity of a lifetime. So perform a mandible claw, so I'm assuming I'm playing as Mick. I don't believe he wins here. I can't remember this at all. Definitely watch Rock Bottom, though. It's one of those weird VHSs I stumbled upon in a movie gallery somewhere. It was many years ago. And here we go with The Rock versus Mankind. Mankind wants to take it to the corporate champion. And Mr. McMahon looks to be extremely upset. Well, Mr. McMahon's gonna be hanging out here by ringside, so you gotta mind your P's and Q's, JR. King, you gotta admit it. It was the biggest double cross at Survivor Series. Mr. McMahon, welcome me. At ringside, McMahon looks on. A dire, desperate look on his face. The championship could change hands tonight. Well, just take a look at the difference between oh, these really... two. One is nice looking, young, well built, tremendous athlete. Well, look at and the other's the rock. Ha <laughs> ha! Got a serious look of concern on his face. He should be concerned. Mankind a few times before has come very close to winning the championship. Oh, perish the thought. He almost beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. Mankind, very crafty there with the reversal. I can talk now. Again, I always like to high risk. Oh, no. let them do their spiel at the beginning. Get up, you. We're playing still. Uh oh, DDT. DDT. Oh, straight to the mat. What's the signature? It's probably double arm DDT or pile drive right up. What the fuck? The Rock reverses. Nicely avoided there. Does he know with you, Rock? Uh -oh. Shabang! Oh, it was a bulldog. Oh, that was, that was beautiful. I just gotta know how to do the fucking man of a claw. That's the thing. I'm assuming it's his finisher, but... Okay, Mick Foley's finishers are all over the place oh in this goddamn gosh. game. Does he have a fucking finisher? What the fuck is her mind? Okay. It's like I say, oh. you give mankind Trying to half look through my pop filter. I can't head. see. Oh, what a nice move. He does have a finisher. What the fuck? Where'd my finisher go? Did he steal it? Is that a thing? What the hell is this? What's he up to here? Fuck you. We know how to do this. Also, Shane McMahon out there in future Mankind attire, I feel like. Loves. Bang bang. He, why does he get the bang bang taunt? That Elbow. doesn't feel accurate. Oh, the oh, there's the count up, so gotta be careful, Paul. The rock is not letting Don't be a dummy. Attack. Don't be a dummy. Remember you're counting out. Three. Come on, move it. Oh, 
Also remember if you're in a foreign territory and it might be 20. It tends to happen. Rock's in trouble. Know your numbers, kids. Check all your local policies before you get into a foreign ring. It's just proper. <laughs> there it is. That's classic mankind attitude. Just looks like he's doing breathing techniques Great now. Counter by the rock. Right in the kisser. Buddha on the ground outside. That must have smarked just a hair. Bang, bang goes Mick Foley. Ding, ding, ding goes the Rock's face into the, the fucking now. floor. Incredible Son of a bitch. He's stealing my finishers? What the fuck? Son of a bitch, it is a thing. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Is it disqualification? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see now. Did you want all that? What a counter by the rock! This is oh, a joke. To get caught in that. That's some bullshit. Ow, Again, is this one of those oh, unwinnable things? I swear to God. Right in the mouth. Like maybe you can only get a finisher if he maxes out his. I got till ten, bitch. Shut the fuck up. See. He can't win the match out there, and I can't win the title out there either. That's a championship advantage, folks. That's, that's what they talk about every time. I broke the count, you jackass. You gotta start over. If he starts at seven, I think the... Comp no, I was gonna say, yeah, you cheeky bastard. You didn't know what to do for a second, did you? <laughs> I think it broke him. He's like, what do I do here? Pause on to me. He's like looking at Vince like... Getting pissed, Rock. Steal all my shit. Had enough of it. Do win. And they get whipped right into those steps. Mankind read that and countered. We're up to seven. I broke it. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. <laughs> What the fuck? Look at this, it's locked in. There's the submission. But the ref's still distracted. I can't believe it. He just got out of that. Am I just not able to win the match? I feel like this is kind of ridiculous. What the fuck? That's some bullshit. What the hell? Am I just like, is he supposed to get a finish on me and then... In, leaning back, applying as much pressure as I possible. I don't get what's going on here. A good escape. Oh, reversed. What impact from the knee? Great ring presence to avoid that. Oh, my. Another big elbow. And again, he moves to the outside. I'm betting that's what it is. He has to max out his, and then I can finally fucking use one because he can't take it from me. I'm assuming that's what it is. So I'm just gonna taunt here for a bit, try and get my finisher back up. Is there a way we can stack this? I have no idea. Fuck, nope. He's gonna reverse me. He's gonna dosi do that son of a bitch. Again, two could play that game. You don't know me. I know the rules, though. Now. Break that count, son of a bitch. What's mankind doing? Okay, so, boom. Did it outside. Fuck yourself, Rock. I'm gonna get this game. That's it. He's out. That's clever. That's good writing, though. That's tension-building writing, folks. Gotta give it to him.
have the WWE Championship ripped from him. Now he's getting attacked by Boss Man and Shamrock. This is despicable. It was a legitimate mandible call. It was a lifelong dream of Nick Foles to win the WWE Championship. And once again, the owner of this company has stuck it to Nick Foley. That's pacing. That's good storytelling. That's all around just damn good pro wrestling right there. Oh, my good. Win the match. Oh, got everything done there. Cool, cool. Bing, bang, boom. So that, ladies and gentlemen, shy of the bonus matches, which we will have later, was the great one. I'm so glad you joined me for that. Good Lord, I did not expect that. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that was a ride. But thank you for joining us. And as always, we will see you next time.